Yes, the comment about feelings is obviously so important, and I feel like women, um, we, f we feel them and we can articulate them. We're getting better at it, but what have you found in terms of what can help men do the same? Or maybe that's not your specialty, but... I just know men don't like to be criticized. That's why I'm probably not in a relationship. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I, can you ask me that question again? <laughs> it started from, I, I sat here, this is only the second event I've come to here. Oh, wow. And the first one was with John Gray. Oh, his really? recent book about um, men and women in the workplace. Oh, yeah. And it's there a great book. Of, yeah, and there was a part in that where he was saying, when women, when we get emotional, that like immediately, and I know there's a difference out. between emotional and expressing feelings. Right. But that he had a whole section that was helping us. We have to basically get ourselves back in credibility in the eyes of men. Because once we get emotional, they think we can't handle it. Was his, mm -hmm. I'm not, I might mm -hmm. not be saying it well, but um, so it's like, where, how, how do we meet in the middle where maybe there's such a difference between the men and Mars thing where mm -hmm. emotions slash feelings can seem scary, like, scary and lack mm -hmm. of credibility and mm -hmm. not powerful. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you know, I don't, I yeah. guess I don't know what my question no, is. No, I, I get what you're saying. I think I've got it now. So, um, the, the, the process, this book, what this proposes is how to contain, which is a feminine strength, contain long enough so that you find out what the inflammation is, what the, the volatility is coming from, investigate it enough so that you're not spewing it and trying to, somebody else is trying to figure out how they can fix it. So the beauty, it's hard to do, but men are probably not the best person to, your partner anyway, to work it out with you if you're working out something on your own. And we always are working out something on our own. If we're, if, we're, if we're reinventing ourselves, we're probably experiencing fear, because if you're not experiencing fear, you're probably not biting off something big enough, and that's going to bring up some stress and challenge, and, and unless you're just becoming an imitation of what you were before, which can also happen when we're kind of repeating what we did before. But being a person that's brave and stepping forward is going to bring up fear and emotion, and if you're always growing, you're going to have stuff like that. I just think girlfriends are really good for that, because the ones that you've got as a committed listener, not as ones who will also throw another log on the fire, you know, just like, let's really rip into them and all that, you know, just, you have to find your partners that can be there for you while you, while you process it, and make it okay that you're having big feelings. And the men in the workplace, how, like, yeah, the journey of having it be okay in the workplace, I guess, is part of my question. Okay. Where they might not find it comfortable or acceptable. Yeah. I do not know the answer to that yet because I still, when I'm working in the workplace, it seems to me that women do not emote much. I mean, when they do, they, they go out of the room or they don't emote there. So, I, But I think it is important to figure that out. You know, I think it's really important. I think these, these making it light, too, is important. You know, I, I actually think Amy Schumer oh, is great. making a huge yeah. difference in our, because she can get through to a lot of people. She's a comedian, yeah. and she's making light of and fun about some of the ways that women are. Like, she had this whole panel where it was about how many times we say, I'm sorry. It was hilarious. You can see it on YouTube. But, you know, just, you know, how we say, I'm sorry a lot. <laughs> And um, it was funny, but she, she brings some carbonation and lightness to some of these subjects that are, that are heavy, and then we can talk about it. Mm -hmm. Like, we just need to dialogue with men about, hey, what, what should we do when we want to cry in front of you, but we know it's going to freak you out? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Maybe it's about having a conversation.